What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Here today to answer an NBA mailbag question on Jazz guard Colin Sexton and if the Bucks should look to trade for him this offseason. Now, let's talk about it. So, uh, Colin Sexton, 24 years old with Utah Jazz, had a pretty decent bounce back year last year. You know, battled through injuries uh, the year prior, only played 11 games with the Cavaliers, then was traded the last offseason to the Jazz. Uh, played 48 games, scored about 14 minutes. I mean, scored scored about 14 points. Played about 24 minutes every game. So, you know, had a decent season. Um, but he's one. Of, he's on my top priority list of players I would love to see on a on a contending team. You know, um, young guard still has some has some good uh, good scoring potential. Has some also sneaky playmaking potential also. You know. And uh, I've been seeing his name swirl around a little bit in the trade rumors, the Clippers, um, the Bucks, a couple other teams here and there. But uh, I got asked this question the other day. I did a Brook Lopez video, you know, uh, him going to the Rockets. But the the Bucks fan was like, hey, you know, I'm fine with losing Brook. That's cool and all. But we need to find, you know, someone to back up Drew Holiday or to play with Drew Holiday in certain moments. You know, Grayson Allen isn't a, isn't a move, so, so the person says. And uh, I'm not a I'm not in I'm not indifference to it, but I do understand. You know, I think there should be a different style of player to play with Drew Holiday, Grayson Allen, uh, Pat uh, Pat Connaughton. Those are cool, you know. But I think you need a playmaker, more aggressive guy. And I definitely love the move of getting Colin Sexton if that's if that were the case. Uh, Colin Sexton, you know, I don't think he'll find too much more time than what he got last year, around 24 minutes, maybe even less. You know, the way uh, the Jazz are making moves this offseason, they are deep in every position. You know, the forwards, the guards, the big men. So, you know, uh, there could possibly be some room for him to decrease time, honestly, the way the Jazz have been moving. So uh, I would love to see him go somewhere else. And the Bucks team, to me, makes the most sense. You know, this team is pretty old. You got Drew Holiday, who's 33, Giannis, who's 28, Chris Middleton, who's 31, and he's had injuries the last couple of years. Giannis always pretty banged up. You need someone to take to take some of the playmaking off of Drew. Uh, you need someone to be also an aggressive scorer, which Colin Sexton is. You know, Grayson Allen can be that in certain moments, but he's not consistent with it. But that's the only one, really. You know, Pat Connaughton is not that. Uh, you know, you can't really count on no one else to really be – I guess Bobby Portis, he's the most other you no know, uh, other starter who could be aggressive in certain moments. If he is a starter, no, he's not starting all the time, but the situational starts. So it's like, man, they don't really have anybody that's under 25 to really bring in a, a good scoring punch. And I think a guy like Colin Sexton could be that. He's a he's a two way player, you know, not the best on either side of of the ball, honestly, but he definitely tries hard on both sides. As I said, he's been improving the last couple of years. You know, even with the injury woes uh, that he's had, you know, he's he's progressed as a spot up shooter. He's progressed slowly as a playmaker. You know, at, at first he was just driving, 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 me, me, me. You know, and as last year's show with the Jazz, he's a little playmaker now. You know, he got he got a little bit of playmaker in him. You know. Um, and it, don't even forget, a couple of years ago, prior to the injuries, he was scoring about 20 points a night, <laughs> you know, uh, with the, uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers and Darius Garland as his, as his co-guard co in, in um, the backcourt. So it's like he has potential, you know, and then the injuries kind of slowed him down. But a couple of years ago, you know, he was a fringe star, you know, a fringe, uh, about to be in the stardom, about to be in that next level. But injuries, back-to-back -back years kind of slowed him down a little bit. But, uh, you know, it is, it is what it is that happens. But he definitely can bounce back and make a name for himself and make some more good money in the NBA. I think going to a team like the Bucks, like the Clippers, especially the, the uh, Bucks, though. You know, I've been on them the last couple of years. They have to add some injection of you. You know, I've been saying that for a while now. And, you know, as I said, Drew's older. Uh, a older 33, you know, playoff mileage, deep runs a couple of years ago, you know, and he's also being tasked with hard covers every night. <laughs> Drew Holiday is giving, giving it, uh, his all, giving you hard covers. Chris Middleton been injured a little bit here and there the last couple of years. Giannis always seemed to be banged up, you know, in, during, during playoff times. He'll uh, mess his knee up, mess his elbow, show no something. So it's like, man, you need someone to take – 
take the pressure off those guys. I know Sexton isn't a big name. He's not going to be a, 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 a house shaker when, when, if the trade does happen. But I think he'll be a great fit for this Buck squad. You know, another guard who can play make, who can show some defensive effort, who, you know, can create your own shot, who can be a spot-up shooter for when Giannis or Drew or Middleton, you know, drives, drives and kicks. I think he'll be a p- perfect complement to this Bucks team if he can stay healthy. And that's the biggest part is, is his health. You know, last year, as, as I said, only played in 48 games, not even 50 games. The year prior, played in 11 games, <laughs> you know. So, it's like, man, he – He's having a tough go at it as far as injuries goes. As I said, prior to those to the injury woes, he was a 20-point scorer, scorer, and we was looking forward to him as a as an NBA community to see where he goes next. And honestly, I always thought Garland was a better guy. You know, I, I like Garland's game more, but Sexton was outshining Garland. Definitely was, no question about it. So uh, I would love to see him go somewhere else where he's a, on a contending squad where his minutes really matter. And, you know, that that Jazz team played well last year in certain moments. You no, know, Lori Markinen, um, Kessler, all those guys, Clarkson, e- even Sexton. Those guys all play, play pretty well. But, you know, I think he won't get as much. He, he won't be as valued as he should be, in my opinion, in a new role until he gets that, that new role. You know, and the new role he's in now in the Utah Jazz, you know, only started 15 games last year. He was a six-man type of guy, you know, six-man, seven-man off the bench. You know, I think he can he can be that same thing here, or maybe even be a starter. You know, pair him up with Drew Holiday, two smaller guards, but you're getting playmaking. You know, you're getting you're getting shooting, you're getting defensive effort. Or if not, that's fine. Have Grayson Allen start, or Joe Ingles, or Pat Connaughton start at the two, and have him as your six-man. I wouldn't mind it either. So. Either way it goes, my answer is yes. <clears throat> if if the Jazz release him for some weird reason, the Bucks should go get him. But trade wise, go go get him. You know, I don't think it'll cost too much. Uh, as I said, the, the Jazz are deep everywhere. They probably don't want none that the Bucks have anyway. Not really, you know, care about you know Ingles or Javon Carter or Grayson Allen. They probably wouldn't want nothing crazy from them. So maybe just a pick. <laughs> you know, maybe just a pick. And a little throw-in player to make this money work. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome to the Stats Free Sports Channel. Hits there to answer an NBA mailbag question on Jazz guard Colin Sexton and if the Bucks should look to trade for him this offseason. Now, let's talk about it. So, uh, Colin Sexton, 24 years old with Utah Jazz. Had a pretty decent bounce-back year last year. You know, battled through injuries uh, the year prior. Only played 11 games with the Cavaliers. Then was traded the last offseason to the Jazz uh, played 48 games, scored about 14 minutes. I mean, scored scored about 14 points. Played about 24 minutes every game. So, you know, had a decent season. Um, but he's one. Of, he's on my top priority list of players I would love to see on a on a contending team. You know, um, young guard still has some has some good uh, good scoring potential. Has some also sneaky playmaking potential also. You know. And uh, I've been seeing his name swirl around a little bit in the trade rumors, the Clippers, um, the Bucks, a couple other teams here and there. But uh, I got asked this question the other day. I did a Brooke Lopez video, you know, uh, him going to the Rockets. But the, the Bucks fan was like, hey, you know, I'm fine with losing Brooke. That's cool and all. But we need to find, you know, someone to back up Drew Holiday or to play with Drew Holiday in certain moments. You know, Grayson Allen isn't a, isn't a move, so, so the person says. And uh, I'm not a I'm not in I'm not indifference to it, but I do understand that you know I think there should be a different style of player to play with Drew Holiday, Grayson Allen, uh, Pat uh, Pat Connaughton. Those are cool, you know, but I think you need a playmaker, more aggressive guy. And I definitely love the move of getting Colin Sexton if that's if that were the case. Uh, Colin Sexton, you know, I don't think he'll find too much more time than what he got last year, around 24 minutes, maybe even less. You know, the way uh, the Jazz are making moves this offseason, they are deep in every position. You know, the forwards, the guards, the big men. So, you know, uh, there could possibly be some room for him to decrease time, honestly, the way the Jazz have been moving. So uh, I would love to see him go somewhere else. And the Bucks team, to me, makes the most sense. You know, this team is pretty old. You got Drew Holiday, who's 33, Giannis, who's 28, Chris Middleton, who's 31, 
and he's had injuries the last couple of years. Giannis always pretty banged up. You need someone to take to take some of the playmaking off of Drew. Uh, you need someone to be also an aggressive scorer, which Colin Sexton is. You know, Grayson Allen can be that in certain moments, but he's not consistent with it. But that's the only one, really. You know, Pat Connaughton is not that.